Here's an idea. Anime with exactly 11 or 22 episodes tend to be some of the most original and unique anime out there. The vast majority of anime series that run for exactly one season tend to be either 12 episodes or 13 episodes long, and shows that run for two seasons are usually 24 or 26 episodes long respectively. However, every once in a while, for some reason, you get a show that's either 11 or 22 and it's always, without fail, one of the most bizarre and interesting animated series to come out. A lot of these shows can be attributed to the somewhat famous anime time slot, Noe Tamina, which is animation spelled backwards. See, what a lot of fans outside of Japan don't know is that a lot of anime are created specifically to fit in with certain time slots on TV, which makes sense because that's how most shows are made, but people just don't tend to think of it that way when it comes to anime. You might have a midnight slot on one channel that pretty much always runs suspenseful light novel adaptations or something like that, and the Noe Tamina block was created specifically to run shows that would appeal to viewers outside of the typical anime fanbase of young men and young boys and little girls. In other words, Noe Tamina mostly consisted of shows aimed at young women when it first started off, and the first few shows that came out on the time slot really well fit into that demographic. But as time went on, they started involving a lot more shows that were really experimental and out there. Shows that didn't really fall into any one demographic, but were just not like any other shows that were coming out. Some of the first ones they did were Ayakashi, Mononoke, and Hakaba Kitaro, which all had really extreme art styles and lots of flashy animation. And as time has gone on, Noe Tamina has involved more and more shows of this nature. Now Noe Tamina has two shows running at any given time, usually one that's more normal and one that's more out there. But the out there shows are almost always either 11 or 22 episodes. Now I don't really know the exact reason for this. My best guess is that it's because these shows are so out there that they might not be expected to be as successful as most shows and therefore get shorter runs, possibly operating on tighter budgets as well. Shows that air on Noe Tamina fall into a minority of anime that are more paid for by how many people watch the show rather than how many people buy the DVDs. Noe Noe Tamina shows tend to have a much larger audience than the average anime, so they can get by funding their show on just the commercials and advertising surrounding the series, whereas most anime are aimed at a very niche audience that will all buy the DVDs, which are absorbently expensive, and that's how the studios make their money back. So maybe that's got something to do with it, but honestly I can't totally explain. And it's also true that the consistency of 11 and 22 episode shows being really bizarre and out there goes beyond Noe Tamina. While there are now a considerable amount of Noe Tamina shows that fall into this pattern, there were 22 and 11 episode shows that were really weird before Noe Tamina even existed. I first noticed this trend after watching the shows Technolies and Red Garden, which are two of the most challenging, out there, bizarre shows that I've ever seen in any medium. There's even one anime series, Ergo Proxy, which is known for being incredibly strange, that has 23 episodes, and I don't think there's like any other show that has 23 episodes. So if you ever want to diversify your anime viewing and see some stuff that you will not see elsewhere, some really experimental, interesting, and different shows, for better or for worse, not all of these are necessarily great, but a lot of them are, then definitely check out any shows with 11 or 22 episodes. I'm going to put a list of as many of them as I can find in the description, with notes on whether or not I've seen them, what I thought of them, if I did see them, just with like a little number score, and you can check them out if you're interested in seeing some out there, experimental, interesting stuff. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one, and if you've seen any 11 or 22 episode shows, leave some comments below and tell me what you thought of those shows, and if you are interested in watching any more shows that fall into this pattern. Also, if you're following the current season of anime, check out my vlog channel, Digi Does Anime, where I'm talking about most of the current shows myself. And you can also expect some anime reviews to be coming on this channel in the near future, so be sure and subscribe.